fellow fan geeks, it's your fangirl Tally, and it's time for another episode of Stargate SG-1. Time for Season 1, Episode 18. If I'm not mistaken from the thumbnail, it's time to come try out. If you know, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Colonel speaking. Welcome to P3X989er, where it's a balmy room temperature. Fan it out. The man is nuts. Funny, but nuts. Whoa. I guess you'd have to be to be a Black Ops cop. Well, pilot. the lights are on, but there's nobody home. The technology seems advanced by comparison to what we've seen on most of the human inhabited planets, maybe even more advanced than Earth. Uh, much more. Well, it feels older somehow. I know how it feels. <laughs> this place has seen better days. At least it doesn't appear to be of Gould origin. Do you ever run into something like this? I have not. Who did Teal? That's a new one. Computer. That sounds ominous. Let's fall back. Okay. Ominous indeed. There's your pop culture reference. I don't know. No, that Welcome looks to awfully familiar to me. My transmitter's gone. A lot like ancient technology. The foreshadowing, the way they started this. So, so. Daniel? Yo. You guys okay? I am well. Yeah, I'm fine. Better than fine, actually, when you consider the fact that we were just... Come try ya! Come try ya! Daniel? I think that's a greeting. Yes, it is. Oh, well then. Oh. Come try out. We are explorers from a place called Earth. I'm Daniel. Hello. Oh, this is your custom guest. Hello. Hello. You are the leader? Oh, no, that would be me. Colonel Jack O'Neill, Kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> Come try ya. Whatever. Why'd you attack us? Attack? Oh, attack, yes, of course. It would seem that way from your perspective. Yes, I did that. Why? It could not be helped. Oh, are you suffering any pain? Any after effects? Occasionally, the heart must be restarted. Oh, uh, no, I think we feel fine. Oh, come try ya! <laughs> you are all such wonderful specimens. You, in particular, female. 
Colonel. Easy, Captain. Listen, we had some things when we got here, some weapons. Oh, those, mm, yes. Very dangerous. Very. Can we have them back? And our uniforms? Sorry, but they are gone. They are gone? This is better, yes? No. Uh, I am Harlan. Harlan. I am the last survivor of Altair. Excuse me? The last survivor? You're the only one on this planet? Yes. And your weapons are this way? <laughs> what in... I guess being the last person to survive on a planet would make you a little cuckoo, wouldn't it? We are in Section 3. There has been trouble here lately. What kind of trouble? Mechanical breakdowns. It's very difficult to maintain this complex all alone. Listen, Harlan. Is there an outside to this place? Outside is above. We are under. Under the surface? Oh, yes. On the surface, we cannot survive. Mm. Radiation. Very, very bad. Ah, this way to Section 4. Um, what happened to your civilization? Surely you started on the surface and then moved under. Oh, yes, long ago. We're curious to learn about other worlds. We'd love to hear what happened on the surface. All in time. We've got all the time in the world. <laughs> yes, you do. You understand? Come try it. What, what is that? Come try. Is that like Aloha? Harlan, how long have you been on your own? Ah, now, let me see. Wallace was the last one to go. I miss him. But you all remind me a little of Wallace. Um, Except for you, of course. You are Phoebe, and you are whatever you are. Hubbled. He was the creator of all this. But he died very early, too early. Took many secrets with him so long ago. How long? Exactly. Uh, exactly. 99,207,000 of your hours. Well, that's 11,000 years. How did you know that? That's right. Yeah. Jack Wait, how did is you know smart. That? See? Everything is better. Even your minds. You are all much, much better. Better than what? Do you not feel it? Are you not stronger? Smarter? Jack, I think he's right. I feel great. Of course you do. Because I have given you a great gift. I have made you all better. Better how? Oh, I have not hurt you. I have only made you better. All right. All right. Listen closely. I'm going to ask you one more time, very simply. Better. How? We're gone. We're out of here. Boop. <laughs> Carter, dial us all. Either it is unsafe. What is unsafe? Tell us. All in time, there is so much you must know first. Where did that come from? Oh, well, I guess it was with you their will weapons. Be back. You will. You cannot leave me here. All the lost. Oh, dear. Oh, I remember now. They're robots who Never need to be near the life. place for the... It's got me a little worried, actually. Yeah, well, this has got me a little worried. Listen. He has no heart. I don't hear anything. Oh, because he's a robot. But right, I forgot. I'm dead. Spoilers, sorry. I hope Look, you're not I'm watching this for the first this, time. I'm gonna have to do a blood sample. Oh my God, what the hell 
was uh, get that out of me. Look, uh, I'm gonna need X-rays on all of them. Stat. What did he do to us? I don't know. Just let's everybody stay calm. I no longer possess a goal. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Oh Alert, security for the infirmary. Whoa, security, Dr. Fraser, it is us. Just don't come any closer. I don't blame her for being afraid. Stand down, Airman. It's a little misunderstanding. It's an order. Relay that order. General, that is not Colonel O'Neill. Oh, for crying out loud. General, it's me. Would you call that human blood? I have reason to believe they're all imposters. He, or whatever he is, has no detectable heartbeat. Take them to the holding room. Put a guard outside. General Hammond. I don't know what that son of a bitch on 989 Follow did to us, but I swear to God, your history. wife died of cancer four years ago. And you will not ago. be hurt. Your granddaughter's names are Tessa and Kayla. Any resistance by any of you will be met with deadly force. Is that understood? Understood. Sounds like our people. They certainly believe they're SG-1. It may be another ghoul trick. I don't know what to believe. He was right about the names of my grandchildren. How else would he have known if he isn't Jack O'Neill? Sir, given our history with the ghoul, I believe keeping them here would be extremely dangerous. <sighs> I'll take that under advisement. It's incredible. It looks like mine, it feels like mine. It is mine. I mean, I don't feel any different. If anything, I feel better. Well, that's what Harlan said. Well, why didn't he just tell us? Probably afraid we'd damage him. Perceptive little runt. <laughs> you know, Colonel, you can't blame General Hammond for confining us. Hey, I know who I am. Well, so do I. In every respect, I feel like Sam Carter. But the evidence... It... Harlan must have transferred our consciousness into these bodies. Bodies? Did you see the inside of this arm? We're machines, Carter. Tilk, are you okay? Why? Well, for starters, you've lost your... infant ghoul. I still feel its presence. Really? That must be like continuing to feel a limb after it's been lost. Oh, for crying out loud. Daniel, I'm glad you're so fascinated by all this, but it's time for a little reality check, OK? We are being held prisoner by our own people. Well, they can't keep us in here forever. I mean, why not? What do you think is going to happen? Do you really think military intelligence is going to let us continue as SG-1 like this? We still have our rights, Jack. What rights are you talking about? Colonel, no matter what he's done to us, we're still... Human? Is that what you were going to say? Says you're not. Well, Harlan said we'd be back. Now we know why. It's the only choice you get. Colonel O'Neill, whoever you are, I've decided to send SG-5 back to PX-3989, see if they can shed some light on this. That's a mistake. Why? Because old Harlan will do to them what he did to us. Harlan? The indigenous person we encountered on the other side, sir. We do believe that he transferred our consciousness into these artificial bodies. 
Why would anyone do that? Well, he thought he was doing us a favor. He thinks this is better. And I never even really thought of it at the time, but he must be artificial, too. Well, that would explain how he got to be 11,000 years old. What? General, I think it's imperative that we go back. Get Dr. Fraser! Yes, sir! Taking a chunk Watch out of Teal's shoe or boot. You ran out of energy. What? Well, if these bodies are machines, they need a power source. It's here. Come uh... try ya! Here is where you belong now. Here is the only place you can be. Jack is going to murder him. You! Son of a bitch! You nearly waited too long. I was worried. Feel better? Better? What the hell did you do to us? You are angry. Yes. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't break you in half. Colonel, he's the only one who can put our consciousness back into our real bodies. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot do that. In time, you will see. I have transferred your consciousness to the synthetic. Well, transfer us back now! No, I cannot. It is permanent. I do not want to hear that! And you are damaging me. I am sorry, but there is no way to do what you ask. Your bodies are all gone. It is all part of the process. This is what you are now. You will see. It is better. Would you guys want to be transferred into a machine body? This way, around the corner, just a few more steps and home again. You should all rest now. Your internal systems are not yet fully recharged and they were allowed to drain far too low. Secondary coil, Section 2. Immediate attention is required. Section 2. You see now why I needed you. This place is more than one man can maintain. Oh. So much to do. You will see. You will all feel much better soon. This will not take long at all. I don't know what kind of assault this is, but I am completely Back, sure there is all kinds of assault going on. Again. <clears throat> I was right about this place. Half the stuff in this complex isn't working, the rest is marginal. I mean, look around, he's been jerry-rigging things for centuries. He was desperate. I say let the place fall down. To condemn Harlan would be to condemn ourselves. Your point being, what is done is done. Oh, please. Has it occurred to anyone that all we are now is robots? Have you considered the good you could do now? Where are you going? I'm going to find Harlan. Jack, Don't worry. Just talk. Robot to robot. Surprised Daniel hasn't tried to get him to look on that side. What? Oh, it's nothing. Um, just the notion of living 11,000 years entered my mind for a moment, and I couldn't. 
It's a lot to take in. Apparently, we've got time to adjust. Yeah, we really do have all the same sensations and perceptions that we did in our human form. Well, if you think about it, the human body is just a machine. It's just a vessel for our consciousness. I mean, it, it's just an organic one. I mean, it performs work, requires fuel. It's not the same, Daniel. No, it isn't, but maybe in a way Harlan was right. Maybe this is better. I mean, we're still us. We're still unique. I mean, every thought, every feeling. Have you felt hungry or thirsty since this happened? No. Tilk. You still okay? Where'd he go? He probably wants to be alone. I don't blame him. That way. Yeah, just, just wander a complex. Understand this obsession of yours? It's not an obsession. I just want to know what you did with our bodies. But you have no further use for them. Oh, good, you are exploring. Yes, good, good. There is much to see, much to learn from the station. And you are feeling better, yes? No. Colonel, have you seen Teal? I left him with you. Perhaps he is best left alone. He is. Different. Yes. Yes. Look, Carlin, I want to know why you did this. Why you did all of this. Our race was facing destruction. The biosphere of this planet could no longer support us. Well, this project was undertaken to allow some of our people to continue to live even if our planet could not. Oh, our, our former bodies would who oh, never have survived this how many were there originally no uh, a thousand what happened to them though there were problems with the transfer process and some were lost Sakura, areth tira very very sad we could not repair Hubble, the creator of all this his secrets were lost but many survived for a while where are they well, some left of the ring we discovered. The ring which you went through. They carried along smaller, more portable power sources with them. I expected them to come home. I waited. This is home, after all. But they didn't. And the rest did, did not accept the gift. They ended their existence. How? Oh. They walked above the surface, far from here, outside of the range of the power source. Wallace, he was the last one. He gave his life for the station, an accident. And I have been alone since Wallace. But you are here now, and everything is better now. Will you hold this for me? See, we accomplish things. So, we must remain near the power source in case it breaks down again. Without the continuous stream of energy from the emitter, <laughs> these bodies could not function for more than a few hours. And that is why I knew you would come back. Arlen, we want to go home. Oh, no, 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 you must stay. You are friends. New friends? <laughs> friends? I don't even like you. Chances are I'll never like you. Jeez. If we are ever going home, we need him. 
you still do not appreciate the gift? Immortality. 11,000 going on infinity, I always say. Attention, core elite in primary oh, very bad. section. Very bad. What is it? The power source. For us, I uh, spent too much time away from repairing the station to create you. Hurry, there's not much time we must repair it or else we will all die. I think the thermal capacitator has malfunctioned again. Uh huh. Tube 18 is blocked. It draws heat in from the planetary core. It must be vented. <laughs> The surface wind drives irradiated acid rain into the ventilation system and rusts the valves closed and... So what's keeping us going? The reserve power, like when you went back to your world. Not much time. But has this ever happened before? Not since Wallace was still alive. It, it is the reason I created you. We must work together. It, please, help! How? Give instructions. Do something. All right. I'll help. Where's Tilk? You can use him. It does not matter. He is different. Okay, so what do we do? I had to shut down most of the vents. We have to open more and reroute the ventilation. Up. There and there. I will stay here to operate the computer. Well, how do we find these vents and how do we open them? <laughs> The automatic controls no longer work, and the vents are rusted closed. You will have to open up the vent shafts and do it manually. Search your minds. It is all there. I made sure of it. You have all the answers you need. Now go. 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 All right. This computer has a lot of levers and switches. Sorry guys, my dogs are in here. One of them just laid an egg, brought an egg. Warning, pressure rising to critical levels. Pressure level at four Hubble units. Hubble units? Come on, pull a buffy. Seven out of ten. There's no backflip or front flip. There it is. I am strong now. Harlan was right, it's rusted shut, I can feel it.
sufficient pressure. Come try out. We did it. I can repair it. All will be well. You will see it in your friend, too. What, killed him? You killed him. He was malfunctioning. How will all be well with him if he's dead? You, you will see. Uh, now the station is repaired. Go back to your quarters and wait. You, you will see. Keep an eye on him. He's a big old liar. Ah, yes. Um, uh, there were two minds before. The creature he carried within two beings. And the two minds could not coexist and your friend malfunctioned. Uh, I did not know he was different. I will not make that mistake again this time. Answer my question. How can you make a new synthetic of Teal without the original? Captain Carter, stand aside. Harlan, turn off that machine. The process is incomplete. I turn it off! I'll answer the captain's question. Please, if you destroy me, you will destroy the last survivor of an entire people and yourselves, too. I'm going to ask this question once. Do our bodies, our real bodies, exist somewhere? Yep. Yes. Then I want you to put us back now. I could not do that even if I wanted to. Why? If you can transfer our consciousness into these bodies, surely you can reverse the process. No, it is impossible. Why? I will show you. through the ring as soon as I was certain you had accepted your transference. Except that it's not really a transference, is it? From one to the other. We're copies. Yes. As good as the original. Better even. If you had not been so insistent, you would never have seen each other. Once I knew the transference was successful, I had intended to send your organic cells back to your world. In their world. They would never have known of your existence. And in time, I hope that you would have accepted yours. Oh, wow. We can never go back. No. You belong here. You are welcome here. Captain Carter. Colonel, he's all right. That's great, Captain. He can never go back. He just lost his entire 
I love Daniel. How can you not? Like, he's like a big golden retriever. Here, let me get that. Harlan, where have you been? Extremely busy. I can see that. Doing what? Oh, uh, creating your synthetic others, saving the planet. Busy, busy. Synthetic. Synthetic. <laughs> yes. I am sorry for having restrained you for so long. I am afraid my plan has failed rather miserably. But as I promised, you are free to go. This is impossible. It's true. At first, we didn't even know we'd been changed. Recreating the neural structure on a I know, molecular I know it defies weapon. the uncertainty principle. But we are identical. Right down to the mole on our yeah, head. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Was not a copy made of me. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Um, uh, but um, uh, I had to disintegrate you. I see. You just don't like it. Listen, I'm not too happy about this either, you know. You think you know how I feel? Well, yeah. yeah. We're basically the same guy, aren't we? Have a look. Ow. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, what the hell happened here? Somebody stole my life. That's what happened. You talking about my life? Hey, I've got every right to it that you do. Huh? I was kind of hoping I could figure out a way to undo all this, get myself back into my body where I belong. No, well, it's occupied. Occupied, thank, thank you. you. I noticed that. <laughs> what does that make me? You want? Well, they're all debating the meaning of life out there. Both Daniels think this is all fascinating. The Carters are arguing already. Tilk feels left out. You and I have got a few things to talk about. I'm not going to give you a hard time about who gets to go back, if that's what you mean. Well, thank you. It has nothing to do with generosity. If I could, it might be a different story altogether. Yeah, well, there is um, the little issue of security. Do you know everything I know about Earth? Codes, defenses. We'll bury the gate. Don't worry. And don't even think about trying to send a bomb to make sure. I wasn't. Yes, you were. I know you. I know you. All right, all right. You have my word. Call me Jack. Colonel O'Neill. Oh, oh crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny, guys. Come on. Ah, there you are. 
I was worried about you. <clears throat> Where is the other one? He's... Getting ready to go home? Yes, all for the best. I hope in time you will forgive me. You were just trying to survive. Yes, and we will. All will be well. You will see. Harlan, people are not supposed to live forever. Maybe not, but if you try just a few hundred years, perhaps you might change your mind. Yes? God. <laughs> I can't imagine. I think the worst thing about maybe living forever is having to watch the people who don't choose to live forever leave you. So, don't forget to bury the gate when we're gone. Like that's something I'd forget. See you. And uh, you should have that looked at. It's. Whoa. Have a good life. Oh my gosh. This really is a weird one, guys. It's just. Come <laughs> try I love this show so much. I just do. You get all of these just such thought-provoking things you think you're watching and giggling and you don't even realize that, that you're actually deep thoughts, right? Okay. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this an episode you really, really like? Because it is one of my favorite episodes, actually. Please remember to like this video, and if you're not already a fellow fan geek, please subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.